Healing Hearts for Las Vegas. Seven-year-old Madison Lindsay and her mom are making cards for people affected by the recent mass shooting in Las Vegas. It's like the world has turned upside down. A gunman killed 58 people and injured hundreds more during a country concert there. I try to see the best in people, but I don't think that guy had any. Come on, pink that day. Or if this scene seems familiar, it feels like deja vu. That's because just 15 months ago, this pair was doing the exact same thing, but for people affected by a mass shooting closer to home. 49 people were shot and killed inside Pulse nightclub. Madison enjoys making cards. I enjoy it. It's like bonding for her and I. It's a great time together. But under the circumstances, it's, it's just really unfortunate. It's really crummy. It just it sucks. Hi guys, we love the cards that you made us. This time they have more supplies to make their inspirational messages sent to them from people around the world. We got things from New York City, Pennsylvania, Texas, the Netherlands, Australia, all over the country and even across the world it's because they wanted to be a part of the healing of our city. They gave us the tools needed to complete the task. Excuse me. After Pulse, they gave out more than 500 homemade cards. Thank you very much. That You're welcome. They hope to send about 500 more to Las Vegas. Probably they would feel really, really happy and they would start crying. That's what happened last time. But because this tragedy is more than 2,000 miles away, the hugs this time will be felt only in spirit. I hate to think that it, it's going to happen again, but it just... It seems like it's becoming the norm and it's just nauseating to th think that she's growing up in a world where every 16 months there's a mass shooting. It's just, it's scary. It's, it, I, it's scary. If you'd like to help, visit the Sharing Smiles Orlando page on Facebook. For OrlandoSentinel.com, I'm Kayla O'Brien.